That should do it. I always carry in my backpack a surefire way of getting a fire started with wet timber and I'll just show you. I've got a, this thing here, it's called um, fire lighters. And they're quite compact, but it's the whole thing in one. You look at it here, it's like a little brick. Just rip one of these off. And there it is, it's got the, uh, the wick on the end of it. And in there is, you know, some sort of oily based stuff and it's like a cardboardy sort of material. So it keeps burning, basically so that the fire can sort of heat up and get started. So let's give that a whirl. You can see how it holds the flame really, really well. It's damp, eh? Yeah, real damp. Bit outboard fuel. <laughs> Here we go. We're getting somewhere now. So it was through this sort of country back in 1840 that Edmund Kennedy, they left their last camp down back probably about 30, 40 odd k's down that way. And they had to make the push to the supply ship, which was gonna meet them up near Turtlehead Island. Now, it was Edmund Kennedy and Jackie Jackie that had to move, they had to push forward because they'd left two guys behind that were too sick or injured to walk. So Edmund Kennedy and Jackie Jackie headed up towards Turtlehead Island there, past Usher Point, which is only about, probably about 30 k's from where we are now. And this was this type of country that they were pushing through. And it was up near the Escape River there that um, Edmund Kennedy and Jackie Jackie were attacked by a, a band of Aboriginals. And Edmund Kennedy was fatally speared. Jackie Jackie was able to escape and he knew in his head that he had to get to that supply ship because it was, he was the only one left that could alert the supply ship and get to those men that were further, further to the south and hopefully save them. So he headed from the Escape River and he met the ship, the Ariel, and he waved it down and they were able to pick him up and then they headed due south. They went for a quick search to try and find Edmund's body, but it was not to be. And his body today actually lies here somewhere up near the Escape River. It's never ever been found. But you've got to hand it to old Jackie Jackie. He pushed on and he saved those men down to the south. And he was the one and he was, he was very frail at the time. He was absolutely spent but he pushed on and he saved those men. And he ended up going back to Melbourne and he was hailed a hero. So back in the 1840s, it would have been a tough, a tough gig going on, trying to travel through this type of country. We're here with all our flash gear. Simon's even got a mozzie net. <laughs> I do get pretty excited about exploring this type of country and, and following in the footsteps of our explorers. <laughs>